hey, let me show you how I created this drop down list that automatically updates itself. So here, Maggie is the last name in my drop down. She's also the last name in my list. I'm going to go ahead and add a dog named Sam. If I go back to my list and I click the drop down, Sam was automatically updated. I'm going to show you how I did that. Stay with me. To create the dynamic drop down list, I use the indirect function. The indirect function is looking to return the value from a valid address within your sheet. So for instance, A1 is a valid address and in there I have example one. So if I just type A1 in this cell here and then below it, I'm gonna type in the indirect function. So equals indirect, select A1, close my bracket, hit enter and it returns a value in A1. Now. The good thing about indirect, it also accepts named ranges. So on the left, I created a table called pets. So the syntax for doing that is equals indirect. And first thing I'm going to want to do is open a double quotation. I'm going to reference my table pets. And then in between square brackets, I can reference my column uh, header name. So in this case here, I'll just use name, close the square bracket close the quotations and close out the function, hit enter. And now you can see it returned my name of uh, my range of pet names. So let's go and create a dropdown based on that. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a table. If you're not sure how to create a table, it's really easy. Let me just go to my create table tab here. Here I have a list of cities. All I need to do is click anywhere in that range. Go to the insert menu, click table and you can see it automatically found my range. I'm gonna leave the option, my table has headers as well, and just click OK. And then you'll see it created a table. Uh, it adds, whenever I'm in that table, uh, whenever I select a cell within the table, you'll see here that I have um, uh, a table tab at, at the top or a table menu, and I can rename that to, let's say for instance, city, I'll hit enter. Oh, it already exists, I think I uh, did that earlier, so let's just call it city two hit enter and there we go I have a table called city alright so let's just go back to the drop down list and uh, create a drop down so I'm just going to delete the value I have over here and to create the drop down list what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data menu I'm going to select the data validation option and we're going to want to select list and then for the source I'm going to enter code so I'm going to enter equals indirect open the bracket we're going to reference our table pets then actually helps if I put it capitalized and then square bracket I'm going to use the colon name which is name close the square bracket close out the function oh actually before I close out the function put the double quotations in now I can close out the function right so that's the syntax I'm going to hit enter and now if I go here I have a table with my list of names and I can easily modify it. So for instance, right now, Sam is the last name in my uh, table. Sam is the last name in my dropdown. If I were to go and let's say delete Sam and modify my table and I go back to my cell, now it ends at Maggie. So for my second example, I'm going to show you how you can make this even more dynamic. So I created a dependent dropdown. So option two is dependent on what is in option one. So right now I have city selected in option one, and I have a list of cities available in my dropdown. If I were to select the state and I go back to my dropdown in option two, I have a list of states. Uh, I'm going to show you how I built that out. All right. So for option one, we're going to create a, another uh, dropdown list. So under data, data validation and we will select list and for the source I'm just going to select the column names in my table to the left called city right so I've just uh, selected those two column header names and hit OK and now if I go to my drop down they are available I'll just select city here All right so for option two I'm going to use the indirect function again so let's go and create a drop down so we're going to go to data uh, data menu and then go into data validation and I'm going to select a list and now so the syntax for this is going to be just a touch different but uh, almost almost the same uh, you'll see what I mean so equals indirect All right open my bracket I'm gonna reference my city so first thing I want to do is open my double quotation 
city is the name of the table, by the way. Right? And then I'm going to put in a square bracket. Now I'm going to close the quotation because I'm not going to reference a column name uh, specifically. Right? So I'm going to close my bracket. I'm going to put in ampersand. And what I want to do is actually select the value over here in D12. Right? So I'm going to select D12. Right? And then I'm going to put the ampersand back in. I'm going to reopen my quotation, close out the square bracket, close out the double quotation, right, and close out the function. I'm going to hit enter. And now if I go here and I select my drop down, I have a list of cities. If I go back into the first option and I select state and I go to my drop down, I now have a list of states. And it's just as versatile. So for instance, I'll add Boise, Idaho. And if I go back now to my list of states, I should see Idaho in there. Yeah, I do see Idaho. And if I select city, I should see Boise. There we have it, a couple of different ways to create some dynamic uh, drop-down list and have them also be uh, dependent. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.